I mean, did you learn nothing from the Moonstone and the soap dish? Why? Where'd you put yours? What the hell was that? Shed. What kind of monster would trap a poor, defenseless animal? I gotta admit, even for me, it's a little kinky. You pretended to be interested in me, and then you slept with me so your trampy friend Sage could steal my thoughts. Ever since then, I've felt this incessant need to one-up you. So I've decided to bleed the profane from your sister. Ooh. You want to compel me to be your boyfriend? Actually, I'd rather compel you to kill your brother. Or Lena. But since vampires heal, bleeding you may take a while. We should probably stick to the major arteries. Mm. Well, look what you caught. You're trying to bleed him up for vain. Don't you think it would be easier to hang him upside down? I'm perfectly capable of inflicting pain, thank you very much. Oh, well, excuse me. It's not like I have any expertise in the matter. You know, why don't you just leave me be and go and manage your witch? It's not fun when someone messes with your thoughts, is it? Actually, I was having a pretty good time in there. Well, I hope you were nicer to Elena than you are to me. Oh, come on. I couldn't hurt you that bad. You didn't think I really had a thing for you, did you? I get it. If Klaus bossed me around for a thousand years, I'd probably be pretty desperate for attention, too. Come on, leaving so soon? Sister, be nice. Thank you, Bonnie. See you in physics class. Oh, my God. Yeah, you'll have to excuse the mess. Apparently, Damon hurt her feelings. Why? Go on. Help him. Save the man who turned your mother into a vampire. Just get me out of here. 